Good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are. I wanted to touch base before we get to Christmas time to obviously wish you a very happy Christmas and give you a little update on some other things that are happening in the karma world. Firstly, some exciting news. I've teased you slightly in the last few episodes uh, about our Scottish resort. and I can announce that it is now signed, done, dusted and a karma property. It's called the Lake of Menteith. It's a fascinating story. It's about an hour north of Glasgow, an hour north of Edinburgh, near the town of Stirling, which is obviously a very historic area. It dates back, the people there, I should say, date back many, many, many years to the Laird Menteith. And it's called a Lake of Menteith because there's a legend around it. Many years ago, you may have heard of William Wallace. You may have seen the film Braveheart with Mel Gibson. And at the end, he was betrayed to the English. He was the Scottish rebel or the Scottish freedom fighter, if you're Scottish. I shouldn't say rebel. But he was on the Scottish side and he was betrayed by the Laird of Menteith, who was called John Menteith, so John Menteith. And anyway, the story is that William Wallace was obviously captured, executed, and the, the English won. Years later... The Scots took revenge on the Menteith family and, and killed him and his whole descendants. And they dismantled the castle. And their biggest curse, apparently, was to say to the Loch of Menteith, you betrayed us, you are English, you can never call yourself a lake, a loch again. Henceforth, you'll be known as the Lake of Menteith. And so it's the only lake in Scotland. It looks like a loch. It's a Scooby-Doo, castle type place. It's magnificent. It sits right on the lake, which is very famous for trout fishing. There's an island just opposite it which was notorious because Mary, Queen of Scots, hid there for some time. So it's uh, steeped in history. It's trading now. Uh, we took over on Saturday and there were people dining and staying there. We will calmerize it, of course, and we're going to renovate it and do many things to it. We hope to actually get it open by Burns Night for a soft opening at the end of January. And then obviously later in the year, it'll be fully open. So I, I'm excited. <clears throat> I've tried to get a Scottish resort for some time. I think it'll be immensely popular for members and and, uh, and clients. And uh, we've had a few frustrations, but it's good to actually get one. So I hope you'll enjoy visiting that and obviously eating haggis, if we can find them in the woods, and having the fresh trout. Uh, it comes with a a, a whiskey, um, I don't know what it's called now, but anyway, a whiskey area where we have lots of malts and uh, fantastic whiskies for you to enjoy. So I think you'll like that. And so please sort of reserve and make your bookings on it at some time. Other things that are happening, we are close to finalizing our new app. As I think I told you some months ago, we've been investing time and human resources to create a new app, which will enable you to transact with us, make bookings, exchanges, see what's available, utilize your ownership rides, do things like flights and car hire, et cetera, all on the mobile phone uh, with, a, with a few ticks. And that's, that's close to being finished. And so I'm, I think that'll also be a very nice new addition to the offerings that we we do here at Karma. I'm also very mindful this time of year, and I just wanted to say a couple of words about, about charity. I always think that, uh, you know, I'm very blessed, and we're all very blessed, the company's blessed, our clients are blessed, and Christmas always makes you mindful of people that don't have what we have. And we are going to, I would say, increase our philanthropic approach in Karma, because we always do a lot, but we are going to spend more time and effort on sorting out and um, subsidizing and funding and working with various charities. And we're actually going to go probably more local with our charities now. And so rather than just back one or two big ones, we'll probably look at ones we can back in places like Goa, um, in, in, in Bali, and also in the major cities, whether it be here in England or in Australia. And one charity I'm very keen for us to get involved with is to help the homeless in Australia and in England and in Europe, because I I personally, it angers me, to be honest. I find it very depressing, but uh, I also get very angry in this day and age when people are having to sleep on the streets. And maybe governments should be doing a bit more to help that. But we will be focusing some of our charitable work onto that into the uh, into the new year. Well, I think that's about it for me now. I am uh, going to toast you. And I'm a bit of a different toast this time. I, I thought I'd normally do wine, but I, I just needed a beer today. <laughs> sometimes sometimes a, a cold lager it's exactly what you need, even if you're in a, a cold England at the, the same time. But wherever you are in the world, I want to thank you. If you are a client or a member of staff or you're someone that we work with, thank you for your loyalty. Next year, hopefully, is going to be an even better year than this year. Well, some could say it can't be much worse, but um, we've clearly had a challenging year. We've had a challenging two years. It's almost two years since COVID knocked on our door. And it's been a year of surprises. Here we are sitting at the end of this year with, with Omnicron rumping around. Uh, government still 
making strange decisions, one can't help but think. But there's a certain sense of deja vu about it. But I, I remain very positive because whatever the short-term issues are with Omicron, I'm, I'm convinced that the vaccine is the way out of this. I'm convinced that we're moving forward. I think Omicron is less virulent, even though it might be more spreadable than than the previous strains. I, I think governments are coming to terms with them. We as a company certainly are being able to open resorts. And uh, the, the reality is, is that the Scottish resort makes it the ninth resort that we've acquired during these turbulent COVID times. And so we have managed to add quite a few resorts and destinations for you. So I am convinced things are getting better and better. It would be a naive man or a very brave man to say we're out of the storm. And it would be very naive to say that suddenly normality is coming back. But I hope you all are in all your areas seeing some more and more normality coming back. And I hope it'll be a great Christmas. I hope it'll be a restful one with friends or family involving a few good bottles and some savage food and whatever. So happy Christmas. And I always remember growing up and there was a a comedian, an Irish comedian called Dave Allen, who said at the end of his uh, show each week, I don't know what creed you are, what colour you are, I don't know what belief you has to have, but may your God go with you. Happy Christmas. I'll probably get a wine after that. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,